kid, like and subscribe. Hey kid, on the positive side, this book reading will be toasty and warm. On the negative side, this book is on fire. This book is on fire. Liar, liar, book on fire. It feels like a fryer. Oh, your fingers may be in danger. Good luck. She said good luck. But I don't feel like she meant it. <laughs> oh, Hootie, thank you so much for cooling off the pages. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah, it really did help cool it off. Thank you. <laughs> now let's start before this thing reheats. <laughs> this book is on fire. And there's the ashes everywhere. It's going to be a mess after this book reading. I can already tell. Greetings, little one. Finn the Frog here. Little one. <laughs> Obviously not talking to you. You're some kind of a giant. I am not a giant. I'm just, I'm just fully grown. Blurp, 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 blurp. Maybe he is talking to me. Octavius the Octopus, you are a little one. Ha, ha, ha. Can't stay though. I heard this book is on fire. Well, kid, looks like it's just you and me, and a frog. Finn the Frog here. I am so glad you came to visit my book today. I can't wait to show you what I have planned. You are in for a real treat. Come on, I promise you won't be disappointed. Well, so far, we're fire free, so that's good. Let me welcome you to my top of the line kitchen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Earthquake! Quake! Find something to hold on to! I don't have anything to hold on to! Here, hold on to this! Oh, this is a snake! Oh! Holy moly, that was a big one! You okay over there, kid? Are you okay? Are you okay? Oh, gosh. Snakey is fine. Snakey is fine. As long as you're fine, we'll keep going. Oh, well, what do you mean, your stomach? That was you being hungry? Yikes! Why didn't you just say so? Well, I thought I just did. Green Bear, that was impressive. Today, your lunch is going to be prepared by the world's most spectacular chef. Turn the page and let me introduce you to... Drum roll, please. Drum roll. <laughs> And me! That's right, I, Finn the Frog, am the chef of your dreams. You're the appetizer of my dreams. Go on with you now harassing the book frog. I'm the king of the kitchen, the food fanatic, the appetizing amphibian. That's what I'm saying. Wait, no, scratch that last one. What I'm trying to say is, I am a very good at cooking chef. Now, let's get to it and fix that growly tummy. Yes, let's do that. No more earthquakes. Woo. First up, my world's famous pasta! Oh, look at that! It must be Italian because that's the flag of Italy. This is a recipe handed down from my great-grandfather, Freddy. He was born in a pond just outside of Italy. Quite the chef, that guy! The sauce is made from fire-roasted tomatoes. Oh, I can't wait for you to try this! And he's got the whole pasta situation, and there's a very ripe looking tomatoes and who doesn't love pasta and now for the final touch voila famous freddy's pasta buon appetito take a bite and tell me that isn't the best thing you've ever had what no green stuff? You have got to be joking. Well, we don't really joke about things like green stuff around here, Frog. I will have you know that green stuff is organic lily pad imported all the way from Italy. It's a delicacy. No green stuff? Blech. Ridiculous. Well, that's 
gonna be a mess to clean up. That lily pad was expensive and now it's getting washed down the sink. Rude. That's what it is. Would it be so hard to say the green stuff's not my favorite? <laughs> I spy a frog butt. <laughs> Respectful. <laughs> Although he really should consider getting a wraparound apron. Never mind. Just wait until you see what I have planned next. Get ready for your taste buds to do a happy dance. I have two words for you. Meat loaf. Ah, and now we have the flag of the USA. So this is a classic American dish that he is now serving. And he has gone a full, full Americano chef. Hopefully that apron wraps completely around. This isn't your granny's meatloaf. Ha! <laughs> it's my granny's, actually. But with my own special flair. Good old American comfort food. So tender, so juicy. Simply the best. I bet you'll be licking your plate clean after this one. As long as he doesn't add green stuff, I think we'll be okay. What? Not your favorite? Well, well, at least you were polite this time. It's not like you called it mushy. You're calling my meatloaf mushy? Well, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, it, it was, it was, the, the kid called, it was, it was you, it was you. It, it wasn't my fault at all. I'll have you know that mush comes from the finest swamp mud this side of the Mississippi. Oh. You sure are hard to please. Wait. I know what you like. Meanwhile, it's a bit eh. It's really the swamp mud touch that did it for me. This next dish is, without question, the best one I make. Oh, this is the flag of Brazil. And look at Finn, looking like a complete Brazilian chef now. Ah, do you smell it? Heavenly. Specially marinated and flamed Brazilian ribeye with whipped potatoes. Oh, that sounds good. Consider yourself a lucky kid. This dish is delicioso. I think we're cooking now. Little meat, little mashed potatoes on the side. What can go wrong with that, right? Stinky? Stinky? That's preposterous. Preposterous? Everyone knows that soaking the meat in pond water is the best way to tenderize it. And it provides a lovely aroma. You know what? Never mind. I no longer think that this is muy delicioso. Well, every time I soak in it, it softens me right up, and I think I smell fabulous. So do I, Finn. So do I. What did you say? No, frog legs are not on the menu. Oh, boy. Oh, I think I think he read your mind, with Jefferson. This is a disaster. I should have just made you those little dinosaur nuggets, or noodles and butter, or grilled cheese, or... Stop right there, Finn. What? Wait. Gr grilled cheese? That's what you want? Yeah, sounds good, right? Yeah, let's do that. Yes. Yes, that's what we want. Okay, kid. You win. I know I'm a great chef, and you're a hungry kid, so grilled cheese it is. Basic, bland, boring, perfect. No special skills required to cook this one. Good. No pond water required or, or, or mushy, green, anything. We're set. Oh, what difference does it make? I've already made so many dirty dishes. What's one more? I'd better get sorted on them. You know how I feel about a mess. Oh, that is... Mm, that's an impressive pile of dirty dishes. This one is going to take me all of, all of, ah, 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 I got distracted and I forgot to flip your grilled cheese. And now look, it's burning. We have a fire. Fire, fire, frog bite, frog bite, fire, frog bite, fire, frog bite. Don't panic, Finn, don't panic. Who can handle this? I sure hope so. No, you can't. Mayday, mayday. Bah, bah, bah. 
This book is on fire! 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 I'm gonna perspire! Kid, turn the page and help me put this thing out, quick! Oh no, okay, here we go. Okay, fast, 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 fast. Yeah! Holy smokes! Thanks, kid. That was crazy. It was crazy. Let's just keep that page closed so it doesn't spread to the rest of the book. Yeah, let's just keep it closed. Whew! Oh, well, sorry about the sandwich. Um, you know, just let me make you a new one. Wait, huh? You're, you're taking that? Uh-huh. Why? Uh, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that you're thinking that let's just eat something, am I right? You don't have to do that just to be po polite. Oh! Slightly burnt grilled cheese is your favorite? Maybe you're not impossible to please. I guess I never thought of asking what you like. <laughs> that is a good idea to do that first when you're going to feed people. I just assumed everyone would like my food. Aha! I shall call it totally toasted cheesy pleasy. Whoa! Why is my book shaking again? Oh no! What happened? Do we have another earthquake? There's your earthquake snake! I don't want an earthquake snake! Okay, snakey, hold on! Is this another earthquake? <laughs> Wow. Excuse me. Green bear? What? You know, in many cultures, a burp is considered a compliment to the chef. See? It's a compliment to the chef. I'll take it. Oh, look. You're not the only one who likes burned grilled cheese. Oh, great. Now we have flies. Maybe mistakes aren't always a bad thing. <laughs> Care for some dessert? Get it while it's hot! Ooh, shoe fly pie! Sorry, Tyler, go to the back cover, please! Uh, why? <laughs> no reason! You're up to something! Definitely up to something, but let's look at the back cover. Frog pie! Fire! Frog pie! Fire! This book is on fire! This book has a frog pie! But... I'm afraid there's no extinguishing this situation. This book is on fire! Frog butts don't perspire! Oh, that was good. Thanks, I just made that up. Oh, we're so good. I know, we should go on the road. No, I'm the solo star. Uh.